Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to find and wire in both an ignition live and a permanent live from a car's fuse box. We're going to go from the car's fuse box because I deem it to be the safest and easiest way of wiring in a live. But before we get started, let's very very quickly go over the definitions of what an ignition live is and a permanent live. A permanent live is simply something that will come on with the car even when there's no keys in it, something like your interior lights for example. An ignition live requires your keys to be in the ignition position on the car for it to operate correctly. An example of this could be your car's heaters which will come on and off with the ignition and won't run by themselves with no key in it at all. The equipment we need for this is quite simple really. We're going to need a piggyback fuse which is going to come to the car's fuse box and give us a second live to come off. We're also going to need some appropriately sized fuses for the piggyback fuse. And most importantly, we're going to need a multimeter to test where the voltage is coming through. And finally, although not necessary, I like to use crocodile clips on the air points just to make it a bit easier to have to hold the terminals with both hands. Any products I use in this video can be found in the description below. Now let's start off with the multimeter. We need to make sure we set this up correctly so that I'll read the right voltages. Firstly, we take our positive wire. That's the red one and we're going to stick it in the far right port on my multimeter. This will typically be the one that's got a V symbol on and possibly the ohms, which looks like an omega sign. And next we take our negative wire, which is the black one, and we stick it in the COM port. And once we've done that, it's important to set the multimeter to DC voltage and not AC. AC is the stuff your house uses, DC is direct current and what cars use. And we need to make sure we set it in the right range. For example on mine, I'm going to stick it to 200. The DC voltage is the one that's got a V with a straight line next to it, not a squiggly line which indicates AC voltage. And just to make the job easier for me, I'm going to take my crocodile clip and stick on a negative wire. I'm then going to take the other end of the crocodile clip and stick on a nerve point in the car. This just has to be somewhere of bare metal. For example, I'm going to use my door hinge. I find that the permanent slide is quite easy. You just have to uh, make sure ignition's off and with your air point connected to like the car door or something just go ahead and on the fuses there should be a little metal contact point so if you just touch that eventually when, when it's live your multimeter will show the voltage so for example if I'm correct one of these 10 amps at the top will be a live fuse for me There we go, and it's just a very much a matter of going along each fuse and see if I'm on its live. So for example, this 10 here, this is the one I'm going to use for my permanent live. Now if you're doing the ignition live, it's a little bit more complicated, but not too much. Just turn the ignition on. And go do the exact same procedure, go along your fuse until you find something that's live. For example, no, no. Yes, there we go, that one's shown live at the moment, but we don't know now because the ignition's on whether it's an ignition live or a permanent live. So bear in mind this fuse here, we take our key back out, and go back to the same fuse, and top the contact point, a multimeter shows absolutely nothing. Which means that that one is a ignition live, so if you need to do an ignition live with something, I'd take this fuse here. Of course, you need to make sure that you're not pulling the fuse out of anything important that needs constant power to it. Check your car's manual to make sure what fuse you're taking out, but as long as you deem it to be the right one, I can go ahead and source an ignition life or permanent life from the fuse box. So all we do at this point, find the fuse we want, pull it out, like so, and we'll insert our piggyback fuse into the same hole. So on piggyback fuse, I've tended to go for one that's got the same Ampage, so I'm gonna put just two 10 amp fuses into my piggyback. So it's a simple case of just inserting the blades into the piggyback fuse, like like so. You'll have two two fuses like that, and find our point again, which was this one, and insert the piggyback fuse into the fuse holder. And now if we test the end of the cable coming off the piggyback with the multimeter, we should show a live voltage coming through it. Yep, and there we go, we're showing 12 volts coming straight through that. 
So we now have a permanent live coming from our fuse box.